Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Byram and I'm here to answer your questions on Eason's Ask, which I'm very excited about because I've spent a long time watching other people do this and now it's my turn in the hot seat. So thank you for all your questions. Let's get cracking. The first question is, is there any book that you've read and would call your favorite book of all time? Yes. I would say The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. It's a beautiful fable about life and about finding your treasure, so to speak. And your treasure could be your truth, your treasure could be your dream that you've always dreamt of, no matter what that is in life that you're seeking. It is about the universe conspiring to have your back in order to find that. And it's such a gorgeous tale of a young shepherd called Santiago, who sells his sheep in search of his treasure. And every time I've read it, it, it it's sort of, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It gives me something completely different every time. Uh, what was the writing experience like for you for your book, The Switch? It was incredible. It was really beautiful because I suppose it was my story. It is my story. And, and it was really cathartic to write about it because I'd written very many blogs and sort of done a lot of interviews over the years about my journey to health and about my body image issues and how I was very self-critical for a very long time and how I beat myself up and under eat and over exercise and do all of those things that women sort of seem to tend to do. And so it was really important for me to get that message out to people to try and explain what it was like in my eyes and how to fix it because, you know, I've been through this journey and I've learned so many lessons and I've educated myself on food and the body and why the body does things physiologically and how our mind works and how we can switch just little things in order to get to a place of peace. So it was it was a really beautiful experience because now I've got this book and it's 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 sort of like the house where all of my information lives. So it was great. Thank you. Um, and let me see next question. You always look so good. Any top tips for healthy skin? Well, thank you. I truly believe that good skin comes from within. So your diet and uh, the, the stuff that you eat or don't eat and the stuff that you drink or don't eat. So I don't drink alcohol anymore. Uh, I drink a lot of water and uh, I drink a shot of celery juice in the morning that I think really helps with um, bloating and digestion. I have a probiotic every day. So my gut health is really, really important and it's, it's key for good skin. Um, I eat very much uh, healthy foods in that I, I try to cook everything from scratch so I don't really eat a lot of processed foods um, and then every now and then I go to what I call my MOT skin doctor so in Ireland I go to Dr Goldchin and he gives me a good old scrub up some really nice facials you know sort of go, goes down deep and gets rid of the grit and the grime you know we, we take our cars in for an MOT once uh, every few months why not our skin um, in London I go to see Dr Ariel House or Dr Martin Nemo and so they give me things like radio frequency facials that sort of lift your skin and give you like a nice kind of um, sparkle to your skin so for me it's all about looking fresh and sort of you know just looking my age which is 47 and I just think we, we you know we it's it's important to age gracefully um, the next question is uh, what was your motivation around making the switch and in turn writing your own book about it well I reached the age of 40 and I'd realized that I had had enough and that this kind of this constant vicious circle of, of deprivation and, and self-flagellation and trying to be perfect and trying to please and trying to do everything that I thought I should be doing, the society would have thought that I should be doing. So I got to that stage in my life and I thought, I'm exhausted. I'm in, exhausted with all these yo-yo diets and trying to look my best and trying to be my best when actually I already was my best, I just thought I wasn't. And so I, I really studied, I studied nutrition, um, I studied the body, I became a PT to understand what the body does and why it does it and why we need to eat the foods we eat. So to really get that education and un understanding and then inevitably I thought, well, you know, if I can write this for someone else and help someone else to go through that journey that I went through without having to go through the pain and the anguish, then job done. So hopefully it's written from a very personal perspective and it's written without preaching because I think that's nobody wants to be preached to and nor did I. I just think it's really important to give information and then people can sort of make their own judgment call with their own life with, with whatever information that they have. And uh, congratulations on writing your own book. Thank you. How are you feeling about release date? Very excited. Um, it is Friday the 2nd of October. I cannot wait for it to be released into the, my book baby released into the world, so to speak. And I really hope you all enjoy it. It's going to be available from your local Eason's and available from Eason's online. And I really look forward to hearing your thoughts. I thank you so much for all your questions um, and I'm delighted to have answered them. 
Enjoy.